Hi there, this is Paul Crow from spiceupyourblog.com and this video is for our new template gallery which is templates.spiceupyourblog.com and in this video we're going to show you exactly how to download a template, a custom blogger template onto your computer and then upload it onto your blog and to be using a nice cool template on your blog. Now if you ask most people how do you upload a custom template they'll say hey it's easy it's simple but it's simple when you know how and there is a couple of stumbling blocks that can stop you along the way and one of the things as well is in this video I'm going to show you how to do it using Firefox which is the browser I'm using here and in the next video I'll show you how to do it using Internet Explorer because there are a couple of subtle differences in, along the way when you're when you're using the custom templates okay so I have a little test blog here using custom templates and I'm going to basically use this spotlight template which is this one here which is a very nice custom template very original probably be a very nice template to use for like a movie blog or something like that so it's quite cool and we're going to be uploading it on here and this template is by Team Craft Team Craft you can find online some great templates and we're basically going to download it and upload it and it's very very simple once you know how so let's go straight ahead and download the template now, I was already playing around with this, so it's already on my computer, but we'll, we'll, we'll download it again anyway. Okay, so I'm going to click download, and I will get this option to save the file. Now, sometimes on some of the websites you go onto, and on our template gallery, you will be brought to a box.net. Box.net is basically, a, it's like an image hosting, like photo bucket, but for files and zip files and so on. But from Team Craft here, I'm getting the download straight away. And as you can see, it's a zip file, and that's one of the places that people fall down, is that... They don't realize that the zip files have to be unzipped before you can put them on your put them on into your template. So we'll show you how to unzip the files, of course. Okay, so let's save the file. As you can see, I was already playing around with it here a little while ago, so I have it, but it's no pump, no problem in downloading a second time. Okay, so my little downloads window come up, came up. That only happens on Firefox. Um, you get the downloads window in the Explorer, you go straight through. Now, when it when it downloads like this, what you don't want to do is just click the file. Because if you just click the file as a zip file, it's going to try and open it in different ways. The easiest thing to do is to right click. Okay, so with your mouse, usually you go around pressing the left button on your mouse or on your laptop like I am. And instead of pressing the left button, press the right one. And you'll open a little men a menu here with open, open container file or download link. We want to open the containing folder. So we want to open the folder which has this file. So we're going to click that and the folder will open up like so. And you can see all the different stuff here. And the spotlight template is right here okay so now that we're on to the container folder we will actually click the spotlight template and it should bring us through just to that template now you'll see up here in the top and this is for Windows Vista for XP I think it's over here but you will find the option on whatever computer you're on to extract all files um, if you're using a really old computer it may not have the option and you may not have to use something like WinZip which is a, a, a unzipping um, program but there's a good chance that, that you're not using the computer that that's all and that your computer can extract files so we'll just click extract all files extract down the bottom we'll start extracting the files probably gonna tell me I already have the file because I have from a few minutes ago but we don't worry about that okay so that file is now extracted and ready to roll and we have it here we click into it we'll see there's the template which is an XML file which is here there's a text document which is a readme which is usually most Template designers will include a little readme which will give you a few tips on downloading and then there's the link back to the back to the website. Okay, so let's go back. We have that downloaded and we have it in our downloads fo folder. So we remember where that is. If you go over to our folder here, you can see this is our downloads folder up at the top here. So let's go back to the blog that we want to upload this onto. That's the download process done. We've extracted the file, downloaded the file. That file is ready to be used. So let's click customize here and edit HTML you can in your dashboard you can click layout edit HTML on, on the blog you can just press the customize button okay so to upload our template we're going to click browse here which is we're going to browse to find it okay so let's click browse and our folders open up and we can see spotlight template here straight away you may have to do a little bit of looking you may have to do a little bit of looking for your downloads temp folder but I have it here straight away so let's double click on that click on this now just three different things the first one is actually a link back to Team Craft. The second one says Read Me, and the third one says Spotlight Template. And when you hover over it, you can see it's XML, which is what you want—the XML document. You can tell by the little um, 
the avatar there at the side of it, a little uh, thumbnail, exactly what it is. So it's an XML. So that's what we want. So we're going to double click on this. That's ready to be uploaded now. So we're going to click upload. And that's already done uploaded. So it's what it does now, and this is a great new feature of Blogger, is it allows me to keep the gadgets I already had in my blog. Now before, just a couple of months ago, if I was changing my template, I would lose all my gadgets. There was a ways around it, but it was a pain in the bum and it was a lot of work. So, but now you can actually keep your gadgets. So there's followers gadget and profile gadget. If your blog is more established and you've been going a while, you'll probably get 10 or 12 gadgets here that they're telling you that you can keep or lose. So I'm going to keep, keep, click keep gadgets or keep widgets and if you're in the situation where you had a lot of gadgets and widgets on your blog and um, when you press keep they don't put them back in position they'll be all over the place and you're gonna have to go around and sort them out okay so that's telling me now that the template has been uploaded so let's go back to our layout page and you can see that there's stuff all over the place there so we're gonna have a quick look at the blog and see how our new template looks on our blog open a new tab and there's the spotlight template with our post that we had and our title using custom templates and simple as that we have the brand new template up and it looks really cool this is actually a great template for uh, for movie blogs fantastic so let's have a look at uh, one or two of the things maybe that, that need changes so we're gonna click through to the post and see what they have in there okay so this is actually quite standard they haven't added too many extras and what I mean is sometimes when you download a custom template there be Twitter gadgets and Twitter widgets and menu bars but you can see there is a menu bar here All right so if we click edit HTML and click control F and type in home we'll probably be able to find the menu bar there it is there but there, as I said there isn't too much extras in this template that you need to go editing. The RSS feed icon has already switched straight away to, to my template because it's just using the feeds post default and the search bar probably might need editing but I'm not too sure if it will or not. But that's the basics of downloading a template for Firefox and uploading it onto your blog while using Firefox and it is quite simple once you know how. Follow those steps and you'll have no problem and you'll have a cool template in no time at all. Okay so you can find more of these tips and tricks for your blog on spiceupyourblog.com and you can find the templates, the best blogger templates, rated for you on templates.spiceupyourblog.com. Thanks for watching the video.